Quick first, I was gonna ask you, do you like new pants? I do like new pants a lot. They fit and they don't fall off when I walk, which is nice. That is nice. Yeah, I own two pairs of pants. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah. These and anyway, let me just adjust the camera so we can get started here. Lighting, check. I feel like it's a little weird. Is it off? The lighting? Uh, no. Let's just go. Let's roll. We're just gonna roll with it. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Week thirty baby update. Yeah. Okay. Baby took the size of a zucchini this week, which. Um, it's somewhere between like 15 and a half to 16 and a half inches, somewhere between two and a half pounds to like three and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we had our pregnancy class on Thursday and we did a film in the car, a video in the car real quick about how we were like nervous and excited about it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you right now, the, the, the RN registered nurse that was there doing like the presentation, she was so funny and helpful and like she really put me at ease. She told us a lot of funny stories about like things that she's seen in the past. Mm -hmm. She was saying how one time this, um, one of the husbands got real excited and, and, and ended up walking out of the, um, the, uh, room, the, the room, delivery mm -hmm. room and walked right into a door or something and knocked himself out. Yeah. And then missed the birth of his child so, so much. So no, don't be. So, don't. so the rule is the men can't leave after they're in there. So yeah. I'm not leaving. So that's right. Yeah, don't be a dope is the rule. And what's really awesome, I'm really excited about this. Apparently, our doctor is really cool and big on having the the, the husband help out as much as possible. So if everything's going smoothly. And every and you know and Lincoln's cooperating. He's cooperating. I'm gonna scrub in and I'm delivering my own son. Hopefully, that'll be Helping awesome. Helping to deliver. Nope, I'm yank. I'm, see, here's the deal. Here's what I want. I want because I really want to pull him out because I want his whole life to be able to say, "Listen here, and I brought you into this world, and I can take you right out of it." <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can still say that. I know, but I want it to be in the literal sense. Okay. And as soon as I pull him out of the womb. I'll look right in his eyes and say, hi there. <laughs> Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, hi so there? Welcome to the world. Welcome to the now world. Now let's, son. now let's conquer it together, you and me. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that would be fun. But we had a lot of fun at the class with a bunch of other couples. You could just see how fun and excited everybody was. And you could just see the passion in the eyes of the RN. She just really loves this, this, what she does. And yeah. she just made me feel really at ease. So I'm no longer nervous. You're but right. I am a little worried that, um, like, I'm not like a queasy, wheezy person. Like, sights of blood and stuff doesn't really get me, like, weird. But I am slightly nervous that I don't, basically, I don't want to, like, pass out or something and then miss anything. So yeah. I just really want to make sure I'm hydrated that day. And, and you eat. And I eat. And I talked about, in yesterday's video, I talked about um, paternity leave. And how, so basically there's going to be, his due date is May 11th, and I'm zeroing in a day, I still have to talk with my principal and, and give him an exact day, but I'm thinking no less than a week before that, just because I do not want to be teaching and get a call that I need to be rushing over to Bluffton from 25, 30 minutes away, leave everything where it is. I want to be, I want to peace out for the school year, bring all my stuff home, be done for the school year, be at home, bags packed, ready to go. I, we live about 10, 12 minutes away from the hospital. I want everything, I'll just be sitting here on the couch with bags, waiting for a call for a whole week. Just waiting for a call. Cause you're planning on working as close as you can. Yeah, probably, so, probably be done if I can. So I, I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready, I wanna be focused, and I wanna be calm as much as possible. Kyle being, you can be calm, but you're a very excitable person. Yes, it's so. so exactly why I think it's important that I'm home. But I don't know, you might be rocking like. Yeah, I'll be. I'll just be sitting here and sitting here rocking back and forth with bags, staring staring at my phone the whole time. I um, no, I don't think that. No, I'll, I'll be doing other things. Fine. Yeah, you'll probably help them to get some things ready. But Lincoln has. You want to step back so they can see the bump? 
But I'm like, oh, I'm tired guys. I'm kind of like, like just being completely like completely real. Don't really know why. I'm just feeling the blues today. I'm just like, I'm just kind of like, kind of feel like, oh, I'm just feeling kind of over it. Like I want Lincoln to be here, but I know it's really precious and special. Yeah. And so I need to, it's always a good thing to remember. Someone mm -hmm. told me, they gave me some really good advice that, um, yes, that pretty much like having Lincoln nice here and secure and now he's safe. I don't have to be like, where's Lincoln? He's right here. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty special. Like he's been, I really enjoy feeling him kicking up something and move around. It's something I'm really going to miss. So I want to enjoy that as long as possible. But yes, definitely a roller coaster of hormones. Just kind of like feeling <clears throat> this morning, but it's okay. It'll get better. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a good day ahead of us. Yeah, you just feel him kicking around in there. And yeah. And everything, and everything, stuff. So it's nice. It's nice being able to feel him like moving now. So yeah. at, for the longest time, it was just he would bop around, and Chris would ask me to, to see if I wanted to feel, and I had to wait for a while, and I'd feel a bop or a boop. And now you put your hand on, you put your hand on it, and you can actually just feel him shifting around, moving around. Uh huh. It's really cool. It's really neat. And um, we're at week thirty. So 10 more weeks, they want 40. They want you to be at week 40. Yeah. The, Lincoln will come when he comes though. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Yeah, best case scenario. And then finally, our baby shower is next weekend, March 11th. Uh -huh. And we are really excited about that. We got the baby registry done. People are still picking stuff up off the registry. Mm -hmm. And the plan is to live stream it, some of it anyway. I'll see how my phone cooperates. Yeah. But. Yeah. So it's very exciting, very fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's kind of fun. Like, I have so many. I feel like when you're pregnant, you just are really in tune to other pregnant people. There's, like, five people that I know that are pregnant, and almost all of them are having boys. Mm, interesting. It is interesting. Yes, a lot of boys are on. So I guess we're just going to have to, you know, make sure Lincoln's the strongest and the fastest and the smartest one around, and then we have no troubles. Well, I have no troubles. But <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, just, uh, you know, things are ticking right along. Only about, probably only have about eight or nine more of these kind of updates. Yeah. Because then once Lincoln's here, there's no need to do a pregnancy update anymore. He'll just be, he'll just be a part of the vlog every day. So, yeah. so that'll be exciting when Lincoln's, whatever babies do, I guess. I don't know. Whatever Sleep. Babies do. Poop. <laughs> a lot of sleeping and pooping at first. We'll find out, you know, it's a new adventure. But anyway, so if <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's it's fun. We're having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on a journey, and uh, this will be really fun to look back on in ten years Indeed. and see what was going on. So week thirty, things are smooth, mm -hmm. and uh, things are getting close. We're getting we're getting awful close. So getting awful real. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We love you very much. Find your gift. Share with the world. And remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow.